Hello and welcome to another episode of Motorsport Manager with Levingston Motors. We're coming off back-to-back -back wins, which has put Engelhart within contention of the drivers. It's a two-person two race, really. Uh, Mag, Mag, might still be in it, depends on how this race goes. Because the last race does have double points. Uh, the team standings, we've got a good chance at second as well. Uh, we're, we're looking to get top three, most likely. Uh, barring a pretty bad mistake. I mean, Engelhart is quite suspect. He has a, he has a tendency to, to either crash or go wide. As we saw in the last race, where he went wide on one of the last turns, despite it being a circular track. And having an eight-second lead as well, there was, there was no pressure. I told him to attack, you know, just last lap, might as well just... Keep going. And he almost crashes. Engelhardt, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best drivers in this league, according to the points tally. Uh, Macro over down in ninth. Not doing too well this season, but she has had a bad car. Uh, Engelhardt, uh, even though he's got a bad car, it has been countered with weight stripping. And had he not crashed in any of the races, he will actually likely be top. He will probably be top, or like within a few points at most. See, that, that's a crash. I think that was a... That, no, that's not a crash, 10th. It's just a bad race. That's a crash. Oh, only had, he's, had, he's had two, but he has gone wide. So, two crashes. Really should be... Uh, should be close to the top. But he does have the most wins out of any driver. I don't know, price one's quite high, so we might get like 30 odd million from prize money if we get second second place. And we did vote for spec suspension, so our weakest car park will be spec next season, but we do need to work on the brakes. Can we actually design better brakes than what we've got? Just like straight up outright. Ah, we can. Okay, we will do that. Because we're going to need that next season. Because they're all maxed out as well. So next season we will need we will need a better set of brakes. And that will be them. Good job I checked. How was it going to do that? So part of it in every, everyone's should be fine. We've not touched the suspension this year. Because we wanted it to be spec. So his overall comments are actually not that, that that low. So we've made good progress this season. And it is Englehart's home Grand Prix. I don't recall... I think we've done alright on this track before. So we shouldn't be too bad here. Gearbox is crucial and we can wait to strip the hell out of our gearbox. But so is brakes and our brakes are trash. And our <laughs> suspension is also trash. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. America have benefited from having a good car for that track. We had the high. Uh, we had a good engine and a good gearbox, especially with the weight stripping. It's already pretty high up there on the grid without the weight stripping, and that's how we won the last race. This one, it's going to be a bit more tricky. But I will take practice, try and get some settles going, and I will see you for qualifying. That is the end of practice. We did get the top two fastest laps, but it was literally our final lap that did it. Uh, we barely got it as well, so that's not great for the for the upcoming race. We're more keeping up. We didn't wait to strip our cars though. In practice last time I did, but we are going to wait to strip now. Get some boost out of these these parts. Do 
don't know why it stripped too hard with Makarova because we had part issues last time, but she was like <laughs> well out of the points anyway. So she gains 205 performance for a 70% overall reliability hit. And Galat loses 110% reliability but gains 435 performance, mostly in his gearbox because of the double, the, the modifier. Wakes up, wakes up in performance times two. So, neither of these really matter actually. We didn't even get the trim, that's annoying. We're going to use soft tyres, so we might as well get them to wear slowly. <laughs> uh, car settles are perfectly fine. 95% for Makarova, 96% for Engelhart. And then we'll take qualifying. Engelhart out first, like straight away. And then Makarova just behind him, but not too close. This way, because it's a pretty short qualifying, we get two, uh, two goes, like, getting a decent time. So we'll speed it up. So Engelhardt's going to get some cleaner optimization and gets well clear. Makarova not so much. That's unfortunate for her. Unfortunately, it's a pretty slow car ahead. <laughs> In fact, Mac Makarova's going faster than Engelhart, but Walmart will get pole. One more lump risk, I'm going to get a top two because their cars are better than ours. Makarova getting a, fa getting a faster time out of the two. And I'm as tossy there splitting the uh, Lemmingston motor drivers. But Engelhardt's down in seventh. So that's the that's the that's the uh, team Kirov pulling some stuff out of the bag. We're fighting for our sponsorship objective, which I'm not I'm not happy about that. All right, Engelhardt get out again. Needs to get out quick to get a second look. We're actually outside our sponsor objective now. The top three teams apparently. Pushing us out. We want that money. I'm expecting better things from Engelhart. He's letting us down big time. He's, on, he's letting that wing go to his head. He's getting arrogant. I'll get hurt out of this guy, please. Nice. Makarova got a bit of clear air. Uh, I'm expecting faster lap times. Both have both got greens. Top six I'll take. Although we're miles behind, sixth place. Macrovers in sixth, Engelart improves his time, but is only in 11th. Not great for Engelhardt's championship hopes. And his own Grand Prix, he has messed up qualifying a big time. One more of Great Britain gets pole. And with that, has probably just won the championship. Engelhardt's fate hopes are already over. It'll probably crash anyway. So Darren Wilmo takes top spot. Ingledo Tinkerov in second. Modi of the Spirit in third. And it's Chami in fourth for Lundqvist, Navarro in fifth of a spirit, and then Makarova getting our sponsorship objective by less than a tenth of a second, beating Go Kanjiro. That is a good first name for a race car driver, isn't it? Go. <laughs> Engelhart, disappointing, has to be said, way down in 12th. He's got to do better than that. He's our number one driver, and he's soon to be fired if he keeps performing like that. But maybe he'll make it up in the race. Race trim. Race trim, medium tyres, yeah, yeah. We always go on the harder compound because I can push harder. How many laps is it? 28 laps. 
So in theory, medium tyres, if managed correctly, could do a one-stop. Could do a one-stop. I might do that. I might do that. We'll soon see. I kind of adapt as the race goes on. So one more getting two points for getting qualifying uh, qualifying in pole. Ingo who was injured still gets second. Just missing. Bloody hell. Acid reflux. Not great. Yeah, Ingo do just missing out on pole. There's a bit of a drop off with Modi. Long vist in fourth. And the Vow in fifth. Makarova <laughs> getting us some money there. Getting in sixth position. Go Kanjiro. Winston Margate. That's a good finish for them. I'm pretty sure they're pretty low. So are these. Uh, these sh Engel has let us down in qualifying. He has. But can he make it up in the first lap of the race? Bad start for Makarova. Good start for Engel but he gets stuck behind another car. Makarova down to 7th immediately. Engel up into 11th. He has got a much better car. He should be better starting off. And the car's at his face with anyway. Makarova looking to regain six. That's our sponsor objective. And she's going to do it. That's going to allow Lunkvist of uh, Chariot to get ahead. Mavero makes, makes, makes their move. And regains sixth position. Engelhardt still in 11th. Looking to get past Lemis Tozzi. But a pretty solid qualifying her, herself. I think it's a female. But she can't hold off Engelhardt. Is it a female? It's a female, good. <laughs> In the lap up into na uh, up into tenth, and it is the Kruger duo ahead of him. Do Kanjiro is certainly off to a flyer, and she's got to the fastest lap. Wilmot actually actually in third. Varro is actually conserving his tyres. Makarova's got a chance here; she can catch up to him, or her, it's a him. In the lap in tenth, he's probably our best hope for points finish here. He has got the better car, despite the poor qualifying. Engelart defending 10th position while trying to take 9th at the same time. It's a dangerous position to be in. You can end up slowing down to overtake and that allows that to happen. But we have got the... Uh, and he's now behind the car, he was defending, and he's going to lose it because of that. No, 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 no. Tech ninth. He's got ninth for now. Just squeeze by. Lemus toss it. It's a massive pile up here. <laughs> Trying to get past Margate now. Slowly pulling away from his teammate. Ah, we've got through. We've got, the, we've got the gap, but we're not going to take advantage of it. And this, we're, we're going to lose position here. Going to lose position. No, we're not. We just defend it. But his teammate slowing us down is allowing uh, Veropol to catch back up to us. And Engelhart lets us down again. He's got to go. I want rid of him. Look at that. Why would you do that? Almost lost another position because he just didn't bother to overtake. He just got allowed himself to get stuck behind the car in front. Not defending his lines here. Getting forced out by everyone. And he's going to lose another position. And he shouldn't be doing this. He's got to go. He's fired. <laughs> That's enough. I'm sick of him failing me. He's fired. He's got to be, he, should, he should be in seventh. He should be in the points now. He should, well, he should be seventh at the very least. He's let himself down here. Big time. Poor qualifying. Poor race. My number one driver can't be able just to overtake. Just go for it. Okay, you're going to go back to normal because you're miles behind. Sixth position. And Engelhardt's going to slow these guys down. Once again, uh, Margate's going to slow us down. But uh, he defends that ninth and he should take eighth now. He's got to take eighth here. He's got the inside. He's got the inside. Neck and neck. We, have the, we should have the speed. But he breaks early. That might, that, might, that might be our poor breaks coming into action. Still on the inside, and we should take him here. Thank you. <laughs> we'll cut it down now. The 
quite far from the points. But I think, oh no. No, 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 not having that. Teammates find each other. Makarova, I'm now trying to get these tyres to last quite a few more laps. Going with the one stop with her. Hang on, I don't know yet. Oh, he's crashed. And he is fired. He's fired. That's it. I'm done. I'm so fucking done. And with that, his championship hopes, his slim championship hopes, is over completely. And he's just cost us any chance of getting any points and has cost us money. So next season he will not be with us. That mistake is over. He's fired. End of story. And this race is now kind of pointless because we're not getting top six. It's going to be our first non-points finish in a while, I think, anyway. That's really disappointing, but Engelart, rubber banding taking massive effect there. That's that's why it's it's failing because we're doing well for our for our for our for our stature. No, it's going to make it harder. It's going to make mistakes more likely. I'm going to tell uh, Makarova now to attack, try and defend that seventh position. That's in 17th. He'll save his tyres. Let him go. See, Verbal can't push too hard with his tyres because uh, they'll, they'll wear down quicker than ours. Another lap on cool down for you. Mobbing these two stop, we one stop, and that allows us to catch up. It's our only hope now. It really is. New Macrova might have to two stop. Engelart can one stop. People are in the pits already, so they're obviously two stopping. Right, attack overtake for a couple of laps. I'm going to I'm going to try the one stop. I think I think yeah, Makarova's two stopping for sure. As I get to about 14 laps, the tires aren't going to last. So she'll pit next lap. Engelart can uh, one stop. That's going to be a saving grace. Right, so this lap we are going to pit. Change strategy to what, mate? <laughs> I'll give you the full beans. So 10 lots of fuel we'll have after the pit stop. And there's 18 laps remaining. Right, we'll stick enough fuel in to finish the race. Because I think 10 laps we can go. So I want to make sure we've got, we've got enough fuel for the next stint. End of lap now in 9th. So you need to go 14 laps. Right, we'll back off then. We'll try and make these last 14. We'll lose a bit of time backing up, but I think we'll gain it back by not pitting. A right, second time. Obviously, this is a trial that's pretty hard on its tyres if you, if you push too hard. Because Makarova's... <laughs> it's pretty much completely screwed over. Butcher's in the pits. 
There shouldn't be too many mistakes. Macrover's out. She's ahead of some people. Right, attack high. So next up will be a little bit of fuel, but if you have excess fuel, I won't refuel because that will lower the chance of a mistake. Uh, lap 13 will come in on fuel, so he's got to go two more, two more laps. I think they're doing shower fighting each other, so they're not exactly catching Engelhart just yet. One more in eighth. Macrove is quite close to uh, Wilmore. So I think she's gained some time due to the pit stop. Oh god, yeah, you need to start attacking now. Get some heat into those tyres. I will take the risk and give him one more one more, uh, one more, more lap because, well, if I don't, then, well, <laughs> I guess I'll pick again in the final lap. Um, he's at the points anyway. Put onto mediums. Get some extra fuel in there. Power condition will, yeah, should be fine. Hang on, uh, Rover's in a fight from the looks of it. The tenth and eleventh are catching her. Went to neutral because she, you'll just go wide. So that's how you drive. Margate is a one stop from the looks of it. Attack high. Because Veropol is catching like a madman. And he has got the faster compound. We need uh, Modi to keep up with him. Or her. So her. To slow him down a bit. To slow her down a bit. Alright. Attack. Back up and low. Yeah, Modi, Margate is one stopping and is probably going to win the race because of it. Fair play to him. Mistake on the tyre, naturally. Uh, not a ma major one from the looks of it. See, there's nothing I can do. It's just scripted to fuck you over as best it can. Three second mistake on the tyres. I had the best mistake chance I could get. But the game wants me to lose this race and will do what it can. To make sure I lose. It's how this game works. It's quite cheap in that regard. It's quite annoying. Happened last season, that first two seasons in the, in the bottom league, because I was ninth, they didn't bother with it. The moment I started winning, oh yeah, you better believe my drivers randomly just start making mistakes all the time. That's how this game works. Very uh, disappointing difficulty, uh, cheap difficulty indeed, but you have to live with it. So the AI don't make mistakes like that ever. Well, not the top teams anyway. You never see, you won't see Wilma ever crash. But if we get our sponsor objective, I'll be happy. And so far, we are on track for that. We are technically six as mode is really first. Mikhailovich is also so. We need we need uh, Engelhart to start climbing these these places. Not a medium, medium. Set them tyres. Only push when I need to and see what happens. Same with Macarova. We can get it so we, you know, it's just, it, the pit crew annoys me. Right, if I could turn off pit recruit mistakes, I probably would. Because it's just, it, it's just there to screw you over. It's not there to like, do anything with the game. It's there to make it harder for you and you alone. I can't as I can get any better pit crew because that's the best I can get. Don't want to go back behind Vidal. He has to put again. Shah's one stopped.
I mean, you're pitting against him. Might as well keep attacking. Go Conjuros Crush. That's good for us. I'll just say, no, you don't see any of the big teams mistake, uh, make mistakes. And then uh, one does. Well, Team Kirov are pretty low. Like, you know, fifth. Well, the Ruby's Motorsport are getting no points at all at the minute. I mean, I'll take that. We're getting, you know what I mean? Me, I'm sure Chariot are going to win the league anyway. But if we if we if we solidify a second position, it's, it's it is actually a successful race to be fair. Because Bowen, like as long as I get some points in, in the in the last race, we will uh, secure second place, which will be a, a, a massive success for us. To to be honest, so we are in fourth, but there's team play, drivers behind us that haven't pitted yet, and we are pitting again. Engelart is behind uh, Lemus Tozzi here. See, if Engelart hadn't uh, gone wide, he'd have been around here. You know, one stop, he'd have been ahead of these guys, that have, well, maybe, maybe apart from Margate. And we've got a good chance at getting something really good from this race again. But he's let us down. Right, medium, medium. What's Lemus Tozzi doing? High on the engine, but. No more on tyres. That's the common strategy in this league. I'm surprised I haven't seen much reliability issues. Uh, last season we did in the lower leagues, but this season we haven't, even though teams push quite hard with their engines. Uh, attack height. Try and get away from uh, Lemus Tuzzy, who's trying to take back a position. Right, so final running uh, attack, uh, push high. Condition's not great. So we're going normal, actually. Angle up into eighth. Back to medium, you've got a bit of a lead again. And Lemus Tuzzy, they need to wreck your tyres too much. So Makarova had a good drive this race for the most part. Can't really criticise her. Engelhardt's let us down big time. Again. Third time this season. I'm sure he's gone well on, on a few other tracks as well. So Probably half the races has made a mistake. And that's just unacceptable at this level. Unacceptable indeed. It just means next season it's going to be tough because the nurse book we won't have for the first few races. Enough to pit. Eight laps remaining. We've got the we've got the fuel. Uh, brakes are looking pretty bad. Uh, I'll take the risk. Who is that? In that's Ingle do behind Ingle Hart. I don't think I'm too bothered if he gets ahead of us. Because uh, we're going to get put into the points with Engelhardt somehow anyway. No mistake. Engelai is now in the points proper. And everyone but Margate probably will probably have to put again. So he's actually somehow on a podium. If I didn't go mad, he, he can win again. He could have been three. Three wins on the trot. It was there for him. And his own Grand Prix and he's messed it up. What a surprise. Oh no, medium for you. For now anyway. Might have to go back to low when parts start to fail. Uh, but what are you going to do? We might lose that to Ingle do anyway here. I'm going to start taking it easy now. On the tyres. I 
Mikhailovich, I like I just said, I'm not seeing many repairs and now someone else is repairing. Oh no, this is not this is not good now. We're stuck behind a car. It's Margate. That's technically I think that's first. Oh, this is technically a battle for first. But I think Ingolo's gonna get ahead. I'm not I'm not willing to attack. I match him on the fuel. We have got past Margate, just about. Now if we're lucky he'll slow down no he won't. <laughs> Ingolo immediately gets past. Naturally. And gets past us as well. Good stuff. Great racing right there. And the Mac Rover's not far behind. She could potentially get some points here. Oh, please not have to pit. <laughs> Look after your tyres better, Engelhart, please. I might have to pit with Engelhart. Do I pit with Engelhart? I think I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pit. Oh, that's bloody no. Well, I'll do it next to that. Quick tyre change, note for the best. Just a bit too long, unfortunately. Right, but I can get him onto the softs. Yeah, it feels fine. Oh, he's... Oh, that's Makarovic. No, 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 no. No. Engelhart, please. So, Makarovic's gearbox is messed up, but uh, what are you going to do? Hope for the best again. You can go on low. She's in the points. There's no point fixing it. We'll be out the points. If she breaks down or she pits. No, they're fine. Okay, she's actually quite far from each position, so there's no point in uh, attacking. Start off for six and get some points. I think Margate might have to pit or risk having really bad tyres for laps to go. Engelhart just couldn't quite do it. It's coming out on the softs. He is behind. Uh... Makarov is behind the points as well. But he can attack. And Shah has a, pro has a problem. So we're getting top three, as things stand guaranteed. Uh, likely third. Uh, if Engel hadn't gone wide, maybe, maybe could have made a move and secured a second here. In the in standings, not in the race. We're looking for fifth and sixth. He can overtake easy. Not in the red zone just yet. <laughs> I'm up, if Margate pits, this is a massive result actually, because they'll lose all their points. Go on, go on, yeah, get past him. Chariot, both chariot drivers harassing uh, Ingledu. That's fine. <laughs> well, it's not fine, but you've got really no choice. I'm hoping Margate has to pit. Engelhart's finally come into some form here. But our low engine mode really hurting, uh, hurting us now. I 
In the laps, that's the fastest lap. Not worth any points, unfortunately. But I'm hoping uh, if if Makarova slows down Modi here, who's really trying to get by with the faster tyres, uh, Engelhart can get past Modi. Come on, please, please. Second to last lap. Yes, teamwork from the drivers. Makarova slow down uh, Modi there. That allowed Engelhardt to get by. We're still in fifth and sixth. Coming into the final lap. Might as well keep going with both drivers. Although you are actually going to go into medium, medium, because you, you don't have a lot of fuel left. Uh, Modi is now going to go for broke, I think. In fact, you know, you are going to go all that attack, because Mar Margate's there for the taking, if we can catch up to him. He hasn't got the tire wear for it. Mako over defending again. Defending the inside, some good driving so far, but can she defend it? It's the last points position. It could determine who gets the second and third. Modi makes a move. Modi has made a move. She can't make it stick. Or well, he can't make it stick. Final corner. Modi going to make a move again. But it's not going to stick. We're getting fifth and six. Uh, could have been a lot better if Engel had gone wide. But the final Chariot have just won at the taunt, the championship as expected. That's not disappointing at all. Yeah, we've missed out. Engelhardt's missed out. An, an opportunity there to try and snatch the drivers going into the last race. Ingledew, injured Ingledew wins it. Lovis in second, Wilmore in third, Margate fourth, Engelhardt fifth, and Makarova sixth. We could have met the median tyres last just long enough for Engelhardt, unfortunately. Uh, just slipped to my grasp that too many mistakes. Three second mistake for Engelhart in the pit crew. I think it was Engelhart. Uh, it's gone wide and we had to make a last ditch pit stop. So a lot of events transpired there to, to fuck us over, to be honest. Yeah, these no matter because they're below us. So Macro over qualified in six, finished six. Engelhart made up seven places despite going wide and a pit crew mistake. Uh, we get three points, same as Ruiz, who dropped, who, who, uh, dropped down to because Margate lost out to both Chariot Motor Group uh, races. A lot of Brits in this tournament. 17 point gap is technically uh, reachable. Uh, but that's just 40 points, I think. If we get pulled, we get twenty four and win, we get twenty four points. So no, Chariot have won the league. But uh Engelart could still win the drivers, but it's not gonna happen because Wilma basically has to get no points. But we're gonna get a top three. Uh we hopefully we'll get second. If it's, if it's rain at Russia we might be alright, but Watch is pretty bad for crashing, for drivers crashing, and Engelhart has a tendency to go wide or crash, so we'll see how that happens. See what happens there. But we get the prize money, which is big because we're losing a lot of money per race. I mean, we haven't got much saved up. We haven't got much reserve because we spent it all on the headquarters to try and catch up next season. Speaking of our HQ, when's it going to be done? Six weeks. So next season. Uh, reject. Uh, who, who, who made a mistake? Takuya Yabu, right, you're fired. You're off, so you're so fired. Where is he? Where is he? He's not even there. Well, that's the mistake. It wasn't even oh, whatever. Well, I don't want them. See, it's burnt out. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I should look that up. Um, I want mistake chance. 
Who's on zero? Anyone on zero? No, nope, but we can hire some more. You're pretty decent all around, you're hired. Uh, reject you. Uh, you don't, you've got front jack. I'll hire you for now, actually. We'll take a front jack guy. Because we can get rid of this guy. I need a rear. No. You can do that. What can you do? So just front. You can refuel and fix, but not good at tyres. I don't. <laughs> right. Have we got anyone else on zero percent? Just you. And you're like a backup front jack guy, because you're like the uh, all rounder good guy. So our pit crew aren't overly fast, but that refueling is based on a full tank, and we only refuel once in a race. So as long as our tyres are alright, it's not great. But it's going to have to do. I mean, his last race is right. No point one, they're going to do it anyway. I mean, it's, it's pointless. What shall, what shall we feel? Rear jack? You can do rear jack. Yeah, that'll do. So, there's two at 0.1%, and that's basically it. I mean, there's not much better I can do, because the game is not giving me any decent uh, pit crew for tyres. It's all front and rear jacks. So, next episode will be the finale for this season. I think this is season five. Uh, we don't have a chance to win the league anymore. We kind of blew that last race, but that doesn't matter. That was always going to happen to be honest I was expecting to bear this of our relegation and the fact that we're in the, in the top three race is, is really good and it's good for next season because we'll get a lot more money and we will, able, we will be able to improve our engine more this next season because we'll have the better headquarters for it and we're already starting with one of the stronger well, well, next season we will actually have the best engine and the best gearbox depending on what the team might get relegated yeah, have it's just the uh, the brakes next season all going to be on, on the brakes next season it's Russia the finale double points on offer Engelak can still win And the drivers just about you can get 24 points total so Wilma has to finish I think 5th but Engelhart will need pole at the very least Wilma cannot get pole if Wilma gets pole he's won the league but he's won the drivers so I fully expect Engelhart to crash the problem is I've not scouted many good drivers to be perfectly honest with you <laughs> might have to settle with Engelhart for another year but switch the mechanics around we'll see Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time on some more Let's Play Motorsport Manager with Livingston Motors. Yeah.